Power outages come at the worst time, whether it's in the dead of summer or the dead of winter. And it's up to us to make sure that we're prepared in the event of an emergency when it comes to our heating and cooling and looking for ways in which we can run those items during a power outage. Now, if you saw my previous video about the soft start kit, this apparatus allows us to power our AC unit with the use of a generator. Now, many people like the Micro Air uh, Soft Start. It has some really nice features, including Bluetooth. Uh, but a lot of people are not very thrilled about the price point, about $350 to $400 for that Soft Start kit. So I'd like to introduce to you the ICM870. Now, this is a Soft Start kit that will achieve the same thing, but has less bells and whistles. It doesn't have Bluetooth but the price point is much cheaper coming in at about 170 to 180 for this device. As you can see, it's also much smaller, uh, very similar in terms of wiring. So in this video, we're gonna show you how to install this soft start kit, and we're gonna do a comparison of before amps and after. So let's go over some of the features that the ICM870 has real quick, and then we'll get right into the installation of this product. So as you can see, the ICM870 has several different fault indicators. Um, when it's just in normal mode, it'll be green. And when there is a fault, it'll be red flashes. Now this gives you a readout of what these flashes are. So this can still be used as a diagnostic tool. Uh, we can see high or low voltage, compressor not sensed or open fuse, high current, compressor start error, and invalid operating frequency. So still um, some really nice features with this product, a much more compact design, so it's gonna be easier to install. And this is also rated for outdoors, so you can mount it on the outside or the inside, but being as it's a smaller design, you can easier uh, mount it inside your electrical panel and just keep it out of the weather altogether. So in addition to this allowing you to run your AC with a generator, it has some other great features that the other soft starts also do, but I just wanted to touch on, such as when your AC kicks on, if your lights flicker, this will prevent that from happening, being as it slowly delivers that current to the compressor. And also if your compressor is making a lot of noise at startup and when it shuts down, this can help with that. So. Um, some added features and benefits of using a soft start kit. Now you might be wondering what size soft start kit do you need for your AC unit? And it's pretty simple. If you go to ICM's website for a one ton system, you'll need the nine amp version of this, which is actually cheaper. And then for a two to three ton system, you'll need this 16 amp. So the ICM 870-16. Now, unfortunately, anything above three ton, they are coming out with a 32A model, but they don't currently have that one. So if you're looking for a soft start kit for your four ton or five ton system, you're probably better off going with the Micro Air soft start kit. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the installation. All right, so all we're gonna need for this install is some sort of nut driver and some wire strippers preferably ones that have the crimpers on here. You can use pliers for this, but one thing I really appreciate about this kit versus the Micro Air is that it comes with all these little connectors, whereas the Micro Air did not. They may have changed that since I got this one that I installed previously, um, but it comes with that. Then if you want to check the amps, you can with an amp clamp. This isn't completely necessary, but unlike the Micro Air, you can't see the inrush amp via Bluetooth. So you kind of need to have something like this to verify that this is doing the work. But this video will show that this does do the job. So you don't necessarily even have to have a voltmeter. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna wanna do is make sure that we kill power. So we basically just pulled this disconnect. You can choose to flip it upside down or you can just set it on top of the disconnect and close your box. And next we're gonna remove this side panel. And I always recommend this nut driver. I absolutely love this. I use it every single day, pretty much. And a, a couple of cool features that this has is, first of all, if you have a tight spot like this where you can't get to this nut because it's close to a wall, you can separate this and it gets really compact. So you can remove uh, tight screws like this. And another feature that I really love about this is how many different sizes 
this has. One, two, three, four, five, six different bits in such a small, um, compact design. You can put this on your drill. So if you need more torque, you can also use this as a drill attachment. If you're not sure where to find this, simply go down to the video description, just scroll down a little bit, hit my favorite HVAC tools, and there you'll see a section that says nut drivers and other hand tools. And that's where you can find this tool. And on my Amazon store, I have all of my favorite HVAC tools. So you can find them all there. Okay, so now that we have our panel off, you'll notice our run capacitor here and our contactor. This is a pretty basic AC system with straight air conditioning. So before we install anything, I wanna show you what the inrush amps are on our compressor with nothing attached to it. So we're set to amps and we're gonna to go to inrush amps. And as soon as I plug in this disconnect, we will see what the inrush amps are on this system. So 35.2 inrush amps. This is the common wire that goes to the compressor. Okay, so we're gonna shut everything down now. We've got our power disconnected. So first of all, let's go ahead and just find a location. I have enough room right here to where I can actually mount this inside my panel so I don't even have to worry about any water or anything getting in here. So I'm just gonna zip screw this right here and then we'll move on to our wiring. Okay, so we've got the ICM870 mounted inside the case here. You can choose to remove this uh, loom if you want and you can even shorten these wires depending on how close they are to your components here. We're gonna start with our red wire and again, you can trim these to however long you want them. So the location of the red wire is going to be on the capacitor. Now, uh, being as we're not taking this off and, and replacing it, um, just make sure you don't touch these pins because even after the unit is, is off, this can still hold a charge. So our red wire is going to attach to the common side of the capacitor and that will be indicated by the C right there. Uh, this is Herm, that's for the compressor. And later on, our blue wire is going to attach to that one. Now, if you want to remove this to get more access, just make sure you discharge the capacitor before so you don't um, accidentally get popped by that capacitor. All right, so our red wire is connected. So let's move on to the next one. Next, we're gonna work on our brown wire. So this is the same thing as the microware soft start. Uh, we're going to find the red wire that goes to our compressor. So this goes straight into the cabinet, into the compressor. Uh, this is the run wire. And as you can see, if we follow this up, it actually goes right here on the contactor to this red wire. And again, this goes to the compressor. And we're just going to attach a male spade connector to this. And we're going to attach the red and brown together. Now for this brown wire, we're gonna use one of these that came with the, um, the kit. So now we're just gonna take these two and connect them together here. Just like that. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrap this with some tape because we don't want this possibly touching anything. All right, so our last two wires are the blue and the black. Now the black wire is simply going to go on the same side of the contactor. This is typically L1 or T1, um, and all the black wires typically go on this side of the contactor. So we're just gonna take our black wire, we put our spade connector on there, and we're just gonna connect it right on to that same side. Now, if you don't have available male lugs there, you can at attach it to this screw here if you needed. Now, last but not least, we're gonna install our blue wire and that is going to go on our capacitor as well. And it's going to go on the hermetic side there. So I just went ahead and took the capacitor off just so you can see this better. Uh, again, make sure that you discharge this capacitor. Um, all you do is jump these out um, with a screwdriver, make sure it's insulated, and that will successfully discharge the capacitor. So a red wire is just going to attach to the C terminal. That's the common side of the uh, capacitor. And our blue wire is going to connect to the hermetic side. So that's for the compressor. And those are the only two wires that will go to the capacitor. So let's go ahead and reattach this. 
and our installation will be complete. Okay, so we got all four wires hooked up on our ICM 870. So we are ready to rock and roll. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up to the same exact uh, common wire here that comes off of our compressor. And let's see what the inrush amps are for this guy. Five point one amps. Amazing. So I might do this one more time just to confirm. We can now power this with a generator. So I'm super stoked about that for an emergency power outage in the winter time or in the summer, we can power our AC, no problem. Well guys, this installation is complete. I'm really stoked about the ICM 870. Just to recap, a couple of pros and cons, the Micro Air versus the ICM 870. The Micro Air is a larger box, so it won't fit in as many um, electrical panels, especially for split systems, so that's a disadvantage. Um, the ICM 870 is much more compact. Um, the price point of the Micro Air is also a little bit steeper at $350 to $400 versus the ICM 870 is closer to the $200 mark. Um, the Micro Air Soft Start does have more features. It has Bluetooth. So you can see how many times your AC unit started, what were the inrush amps. This has all of that built in, which is a really nice thing about the Micro Air. Um, but for someone that doesn't need those features, the ICM 870 is a great product and I highly recommend it. Now, both of these products will do the same thing in allowing you to run your air conditioner with a generator. And that's super awesome, especially if you have a heat pump and there's a power outage in the winter time you can be safe in the event of an emergency, keep your pipes from freezing, keep yourself comfortable. So in this next video, we're gonna show you how easy it is to run your air conditioner or heat with a heat pump with a generator using the soft start kit. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.